In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a transaction in the hospitality till. This is the hospitality till. Here are the hotkeys for categories, subcategories and products, and here are the order types and till functions. To find a product, you can search through the hotkeys or find it in this search bar using any of these criteria. Here you can change the quantity of a product before entering it or change it afterwards in the quantity box. Here you can add a discount to an individual product by specifying the percentage amount here and adding a discount reason if you wish. You can also add a discount for the whole order by touching the number next to overall discount and applying the discount in the same way. Here you can see the total price of the order including discounts and service charge. For customers who are sitting in, you can assign them a table by going to Restaurant, selecting a table and pressing Confirm. Now all orders you take down will be assigned to this table. To confirm the order and send it to a printer, press Send. Then to bring the order back up again, to add more items or to take payment, press Unhold and you can see all held orders here. You can filter between Table, Takeaway and Bar or Tab orders here. Each order shows the staff member that took the order, the table number and the total bill. Simply select the box to bring back the order. For a takeaway order, go to Takeaway and select Customer Details for a delivery or Walk in for a collection. For a delivery, you can add a new customer or find an existing one here. To search for an existing customer, type in any of their details here, find them and press select. Alternatively, go to new customer and fill in their details here. Add a customer type here. If you've created customer types with discounts or credit, this will apply to their order. Once you've entered their address, you can view the route here with Google Maps, giving you the distance and directions. When you're finished entering their details, press save and they will appear in this field. Press select and you'll be taken back to the till with the customer's name here. Now you can start taking down their order. When you send the order, it'll upload to the delivery management in the admin section. For a walk-in order, you'll process the transaction normally without taking down any information. All sales are recorded for their different order types, which can be viewed in reports. To take a bar order, you can simply enter the products in and it will register as a bar order by default, or you can specify that it is a bar order before taking the order. Here you can create a tab for a customer by adding the customer's name and tab number. Once the order is sent, it will appear in held orders with the customer's name on it. To take payments for an order, first unhold it and then go to payment. Here you have quick keys and different methods of payment. First you'll enter the amount they've given you and then specify the payment type. If the customer gives you a note, you can use these quick keys. Here is a quick key for the exact amount and here is a rounded to the nearest pound key. Alternatively, use these keys to type in an exact amount. Then specify the payment method here. If you have set up credit for this customer, you can press credit customer to pay part of the order or the whole order on credit. When paying with multiple methods, each quantity you pay will appear in this table. Here you have the option to delete the payments you've entered. Once paid, a window will appear with the total bill, paid amount and change. 